Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this which is the Mark 42 from Iron Man 3 um, from ZD Toys. <laughs> yes, ZD Toys have produced another fantastic figure. I was hoping it was going to be the Mark 1. It was going to be here first, but unfortunately we've got the Mark 47. So, yes, and I also got one with an extra head. Which is kind of weird because this is the one suit that Tony kind of wears the least. If you remember in the film, spoilers, um, he doesn't wear the suit all the time. So we'll peel that off, there we go. There's a little head in there which we'll come to in a moment. There we go. <laughs> right, so yes, there is a little head in the back. But we'll come to that in a moment. So yes, this has the Disney logo down there. As you can see, this is an official product just made in the, I guess the Hong Kong market. It's made for the, made for the, that market, the Eastern market. Yeah. Oh, look, hero landing, really tough on the knees. Hmm. Now again, this is one of those suits that maybe is my favorite. I, I, I was hoping for the one Mark 1, but we got this one instead, so I still need it for the shelf though, because I am collecting the Iron Man sets and these are fantastic figures. So, without any more to do or wittering, I am going to there we go, open this bad boy up. So yeah, ah, that seemed a good idea to stab it at the time. <laughs> I don't want to damage the box because these are beautiful boxes. Let's try that again. go. Ripped it properly there. Right. So yeah, I remember going to see Iron Man 3 when it was out and I was like, oh, and I really wasn't sure about it. It was one of those that I was like, mm, I'm not sure. Mm. I have grown to appreciate it over the years. It has become a favourite. Shane Black, Shane Black, anything Shane Black does is usually quite good. Um, apart from his jokes in Predator. Does anybody know what that means? Anybody tell me what that says? One there. I guess that says Marvel. Love writing on the back there. Ah. Right. Shall we open it? Are you ready? Ooh. And there we have. Yeah, nice inlay card. This is all shiny. That comes out on the back there. It has the instructions for. Let's see if we can do that in a way that you can see it for the stand, which. That's to me. That's the only weak point on any of these figures is the stand. It's always just that little bit, eh, because these are quite heavy figures. So then we have all the hands and things in the bottom of that. Pretty cool. Right, we shall pop that down there for now. And we shall see what's here. So it is no cellar tape, that's good. Take the little bag off of there and pop out the figure. Who instantly stands. I really do need to get some of the um, the stands for these. They have you know the fancy ones that you can put them in that look like the, the armor vault. I need to get some of those. I keep forgetting. Now, it's quite a light figure. I picked it up there expecting it to be a bit heavier. I suppose because it looks so metallic. There we have the face, the armor. I know they do do these with lights. I always buy the non-lit ones and then a couple of weeks later they do the lit ones and I'm like, mm, should have got that, but I don't leave them lit anyway and I'm always worried that the batteries are going to corrode. So yeah, I'd rather not have batteries in them. So I just go with the regular ones. Now I can feel that the... It's kind of weird because bits feel like metal, but then bits feel like plastic. That feels kind of metallic, but it isn't. I will say this one seems to be the most, the least, um, there's not many flaps and things on it. The other ones have a lot of flaps and things on the back. This one doesn't. Right. So articulation wise, <coughs> push the arms in because I feel like the, you can see they're on a ball joint in there. And they do feel like they've been pulled out a little bit. That's a little bit loose. So push them back in. Yeah. Right. The arms go all the way around. That does feel loose, which is unusual. 
that bit there does tilt and manoeuvre so you will be able to manoeuvre it but then that bit is going to collide so hmm. but then that is a problem with the we can't really get that over that can we but we can get it over there so yeah um elbows pretty good i see they're swiveling that bit there there is forward crunch and a back crunch which does bring out the what looks like a dumbbell joint in the middle there you can pull it up and push it down so there is yeah the head has I think it feels like a ratchet in there but it does tilt quite far back and forward not as far back as I would like it to go but then it is its own sort of worst enemy really isn't it it does collide with the back of his neck uh, a little bit of tilt either way that way so that doesn't really have any tilt there is no maneuverability in this part of the body again the armor is colliding with itself there this leg is kind of maneuverable you can pull it down to push it up a little bit more but yeah that is kind of i'm finding with this one the armor is colliding with itself quite a bit and uh, the knee joints not a butt kicker but he does have a nice knee joint in there and the ankle does have the foot does have a kind of pivot and maneuverability in there shouldn't too bad yeah so you are going to be able to get him into some sort of oh, action poses. Will he stand? Let me get him a stand. Yep, there we go. Kind of a an action pose. Not too bad. Um, the other extras, where did I put them? Oh yeah, down here. <laughs> so in the box we have some extra hands. Some splayed out hands, let me just put them over there. <coughs> right, we have hands with repulsors in them. We have sort of, it's kind of weird because we've got thumb in and thumb out. That's about the only difference. And then we have the ones to put, let me see, thumb in, thumb out, that's about it. Then we have ones with holes in to put the, the blast effects in. We also have some to put in the feet. It is the stand with, usual logos and things on there yeah I, I very rarely take those out of the box very 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 rarely take them out of the box uh let's stand him up and have a quick look at his height boom, boom, boom. Put him a bit straighter there we go that one elbow there that sh elbow shoulder <laughs> does seem a little bit loose so he's a little bit over seven inches and about 18 and a half centimeters i like centimeters better because they have closer things for measurements with his brothers he comes in here's some of the other ones at the same height as those they are all of matching height which is good to see i would like i say this wasn't one of the suits that i was kind of looking forward to but it is i'm looking at it now and it is a nice suit here he is with a uh, Marvel Legends, as you can see, the Marvel Legends are a lot shorter. Back to back, definitely, definitely a lot shorter. So, hmm. another Marvel Legends just to prove. There we go. He's even shorter. He's shorter than him. Wow, well, he is. Yeah, so that, yeah. Like I say, people often ask me, will they fit with the Marvel Legends? No, they won't. So, the other hand that we have in the bag. See if we can get this out of here without. Where's the, oh, the opening to a bag? There it is. Oh, it's kind of folding in on itself. Just give me a moment. There we go. Cut into said bag. Let's just rip that open. It's a bag within a bag. That's why I was kind of struggling with it. I could find two ends. So there is the Tony Stark head. The face plate isn't glued on very straight. I'm not sure if it's really, it isn't even the right, um, for the right suit. Really, it's completely the wrong color. I think 
it is more maybe yeah it's more maybe for that one some of the earlier ones I just I just decided to get one because they they advertise them every time I don't think these are made by ZD toys I'm not sure who makes these whether these are just a random company that make them but I thought I'd get one let you guys have a look it's kind of good it the, the likeness is kind of there but the beard isn't really painted on right yeah it's not so bad but it's not so good either is it really and the paint apps are a little bit eh you could maybe do it use it for a battle damaged kind of look hmm yeah so I paid a little bit extra for that but it doesn't really matter but like I say this the armor has a nice paint app to it it looks it looks like the armor yeah I mean these for the price around 20 if you can get them in the right place you can get them for about 20 quid 20 something dollars not too bad like I say some people on eBay and AliExpress and places like that do pump the prices up a little bit I think I think the equivalent price that they are in the countries they come from is probably about 20 quid 20 dollars so for a figure of this quality and like I said this one has the least amount of most of the others have I better pick one up that doesn't know you see like most of the others have flaps and things on them this one doesn't so this one feels a little bit a little bit less I don't know cool but it's still it's one of the suits I need it for the collection like I say they do the they do the the, the the hall of armor so I'm gonna have to try and collect some of those to put these guys in but then I do like them stood on the shelf looking sort of heroic hmm. yeah so if you have enjoyed this video and you're new here and you've never done it before what I'd really like you to do is hit the subscribe button down there would be a big help if you don't feel like doing that at least for me hit the like button because that also helps the channel um thank you for all of you that have watched videos lately we had a little bit of a peek there a while ago with the jason figure that i did um that kind of showed me the magic that is youtube if you've got a video that people want to watch um so fingers crossed there's more of you subscribing every day so thank you for that hopefully at some point it, you know i'll actually start making some money at this <laughs> so yeah Thanks, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye now.